Introductory. Despite the sexual revolution in the 1960s, the fact is, many Americans still feel that sex is a taboo. Each person has different sexual preferences and though there are those who are very vocal about their needs in bed, there still are others who opt to keep silent for fear of being called vulgar. Researchers nowadays are saying that another sexual revolution is well underway, as evidenced by the high rating of shows that has sex-related content. In a recent study conducted by Jean Twinge of San Diego University, it was found out that 50% of teenage girls are already having sex and are also considered the leaders of the teen sexual revolution in the new world. The issue of oral sex is now seen in a new light as more and more teenagers no longer see it as disgusting. The trend shows that sex has moved past the boundaries of relationships, marriage and pleasure towards the quest for pleasure. With the knowledge of teenage sex, how many parents have bothered to educate their children about the pros, if any, and cons of early sexual activities? Studies show that parents would rather pretend that their children have no idea what sex is yet and talking about it would make them more curious, which could lead to experimentation. But this is definitely not the case. Children can now access sites featuring couples having live sex, or a live sex show with hot models as stars. No, teenagers nowadays are no longer as innocent as we want them to be, and despite the many precautions parents take to prevent their children from sexy webcam chat rooms and club live sex, it just isn't enough. Children still need to be educated by their parents. They need to know that they are not the only one experiencing things such as arousal or even masturbation. Children are confused and for them to be properly guided towards their societal roles, parents still have the biggest part of it. I still believe that the biggest problem with the teenage lies on the fact that technically speaking, they still are children. Biologically, teenage girls are not yet equipped to bear healthy children. Aside from this, the spread of sexually transmitted diseases can easily affect teenagers as most of them refuses to follow the lesson taught in sexual education. People blame teenage pregnancy to the proliferation of sex-related media and easy access to porn sites. It is true that several studies have found a relationship between early sexual experimentation and sexual innuendos in TVs and movies. But hey, you can't blame everything to media. True, the media is cluttered with so much sex-related content but still, you are responsible for your kids. Cam to cam sex stars don't tell your children to go out and have sex with the next girl they see. Leaving your children uneducated and clueless about this topic when everyone else is talking can only leave them to be more curious if not as closed up as you are, and the cycle continues. Chapter 1, A Guide on Sexual Health and Aging. In most movies and television shows, scenes that are sexual in nature often show young and smooth-skinned people getting it on. But age is not a reason to let your sex life slide. Intimacy with your partner is an essential part of any relationship whether you are in your 20s or 50s. Aside from boosting your personal relationship with your partner, sex also promotes better sexual health, a must regardless of your age. Below are some tips that can help you age gracefully, sexually. 1. Accept the changes in your body and strive to improve. Do not be turned off by the sagging skin on your forearms or your protruding belly. Instead, welcome these changes but do your part in minimizing them. Keep an age-specific skin care routine, an exercise or fitness regimen, a healthy diet, and fashion style. Confidence is a prime sexual booster and looking good and being healthy are parts of it. However, accept that you may not be able to fit in the jeans you wore when you were 20 or sport the abs you had back in your college days. Just strive to be healthy and feel good in your own skin. 2. Take note and communicate about your and your partner's changing sexual needs. At 20, you may feel up and running the instant your partner walks through the door. However, age does affect your sexual responses and that of your partner. Age can make your body require more stimulation to feel aroused or orgasm. Similarly, your partner, provided that he or she is of the same age range, may feel the same needs like longer stimulation to get in the mood. Knowing what clicks for your body and your partner is essential in communicating your sexual needs to each other. 3. 
Expand your definition of sexual relationships. Actual intercourse can be very tiring especially if you have aching joints. Understand that intercourse is only one of the ways you can achieve sexual intimacy with your partner, not the only way. Often, passionate kissing, touching, massaging, and other forms of sexual contact can be fulfilling enough for both partners. 4. Veer from routine. If you and your partner have been having sex after a long day at work for the past 10 years of your relationship, you might want to consider morning sex as an alternative. A simple change in routine can rev up your sex life and start making things exciting again. Alternatively, instead of jumping onto the sack instantly, try setting the mood with a romantic dinner and some dancing. 5. Consult your doctor. Sometimes, the changes your body undergoes may be too severe that they can impair your sexual performance. Surgeries, chronic illnesses, and medications can affect how your body responds to sexual stimulation. Talk to your doctor about the possible side effects of the medications you are taking on your sexual drive and response. Likewise, a lengthy discussion about chronic illnesses like high blood pressure, heart problems, and their effects on your sex life is also in order to ensure your health safety when doing the deed. Alternatively, you can ask your doctor for a prescription of medications that can help increase your sexual vigor and boost your libido. Chapter 2. Creativity Fuels Sex Life. According to the researchers, while writers and artists from Byron to Picasso have perpetuated the notion of the amorous artist, the new study may be the first to offer up some real proof. Creative people are often considered to be very attractive and get lots of attention as a result. They tend to be charismatic and produce art and poetry that grab people's interest, said the study author Dr. Daniel Nettle, a lecturer in psychology at Newcastle University's School of Biology. The study of 425 British citizens included a sampling of visual artists and poets. The participants were asked about how much poetry and visual art they created, their psychiatric history, and their sexual encounters since age 18. More sexual partners for creatives. In comparison to an average of three for non-creative people, the average number of sexual partners for poets and creative artists was between four and ten. The investigators reported in the November 29th issue of the Proceedings of the Royal Society that the more creative a person was, the higher the number of sexual adventures. Nettle speculated that sexual exploration may be encouraged by the artistic personality. It could also be that very creative types lead a bohemian lifestyle and tend to act on more sexual impulses and opportunities, often purely for experience's sake, than the average person would, he said. Moreover, it's common to find that this sexual behavior is tolerated in creative people. Partners, even long-term ones, are less likely to expect loyalty and fidelity from them. Boost your sex life. Looking for an entertainment that would give you real pleasure? A feel-good movie or a suspense or romance novel would do. Spend hours and hours trying to finish a book but still feel bored? Had movie marathon with the latest movies but still feel unsatisfied? Ever thought of doing the not too conventional form of entertainment? Any guess what that is? For some this may not be new and seems normal but for a few this is something different and well really exciting. I bet you already have a guess what I am talking about. Yes, you are absolutely right. Watching adult DVDs can be really fun and will take the boredom away. See how those sexy babes exposing their asses or dudes poking their shafts would stir that bored spirit of yours. A good and exciting entertainment needs not to be expensive, cheap porn DVDs can give you just the right satisfaction you are looking for. You would never believe your eyes seeing a group of girls doing the deed together or a guy almost reaching his climax as the wild chick gives him the best blow of his life. Ass to mouth, woman on top, the crab, the famous 69 position, well then if these terms won't wake that animal being in you better see a sex doctor as soon as possible. Chuckle. If you feel that you are not giving your partner the steamy sack session he or she deserves now is the time to make it up to them. XXX porn DVDs can be a great teacher if you would want to brush up your Kama Sutra skills or if you would want to learn sex positions that would no doubt bring you and your mate to the seventh heaven. 
You can't wait to give your mate the best sex ever? Can't wait to hear her ask for more, more and more. Feel excited to hear your partner moan or scream as you go down and deeper and deeper inside her? Well then go ahead and get the wildest porn DVD download on the net or just buy porn DVDs that will lead you to a very satisfying sex life. Learn the best sex techniques that would make you a sex god or a sex guru in the making. You might come up with your own best-selling sex book someday. There is no reason for you to feel shame when someone finds out that you keep porn DVDs because not all people who watch titillating movies do have. The same purpose as stated above, some would just want to feed their curiosity and find out why a lot of people regardless of age, sex and race are just so into these stuffs. Everyone can have access to see these kinds of movies but whatever your purpose is in buying these porn materials just always remember that having them comes with responsibility. Be responsible viewers, watch them with the right persons of the right age at the right place. Chapter 3, Body and Mind Sex and Stress. Have you ever wondered that the role of testosterone in enhancing libido and enhancing erections in men cannot be its only role? There are many other roles and biological effects of testosterone other than its known presence in bodily fluids. It has been blamed for excess hair loss, medical name androgenetic alopecia, although the molecular steps of hair loss in men and women are not fully understood. This hormone is secreted in the testes of males and the ovaries of females, although men produce more of it. Various kinds of mental behavior are not only subject to influence by environment and genetics but also day-to-day -day hormonal changes. For example, stress can also inhibit testosterone synthesis and hence lead to decreased levels of its secretion. Some good news has recently emerged. Recent studies have shown that to keep stress at bay you should frequently engage in penetrative penal vaginal sex. Unfortunately, many people from all walks of life find that under stress, they do not have the desire to have sex and even creates undesirable side effects such as sexual dysfunction. A brilliant study, Biological Psychology, Volume 71, page 214, showed that sex but more preferably intercourse is much more effective in combating stress than other sexual activity such as masturbation. As intercourse is more linked with less blood pressure and less stress this causes better psychological and physiological function. Also orgasms for women during penile vaginal intercourse are better for physiological behavior but not so much for orgasm during other sexual activities. As some of us are nervous about speaking in public or stage fright as it's commonly called or being recommended to have sex not on the stage of course for the stress calming effect. It is thought when a couple makes love the neurotransmitter oxytocin released relaxes the body and decreases blood pressure hence also preventing stress. Oxytocin is secreted by the brain and other organs including the ovaries and testes. It is believed that oxytocin is significantly decreased during the stress and infusion of the hormone relieves stress in animal models thereby suggesting a role in regulating some physiological responses to stress. In the light of such elegant studies and lack of public stress programs such as screening by government agencies aimed at improving recognition, treatment, and reducing stress and depression primary prevention has become necessary. As stress and depression has become a common disorder with serious many unwanted side effects both in men and women, penetrative penal vaginal sex could be a primary stress prevention strategy. Chapter 4. Do you attract the opposite sex? All of us want to get a great mate. We want to settle for nothing less than the best of the species. Are we having the personality to attract the opposite sex? Do we have that magnetism to pull them near us? That is a big question and once we get how to do that, the world is ours. Let us begin with raw appeal. There is something called animal appeal. Some of us have that and some don't. This appeal has to do with our voice tone, our walk, our talking style, our smell of the body, our body and our personality. Take care of these and you are halfway through. Suppose you are a woman. You are asked to join a group of hundreds of women all standing in a queue. Then some men are allowed to view all of you. Will you beat all the women and attract attention of every man towards yourself? If you can manage that, you are a winner. 
Same with men. What about understanding the personality of the opposite sex? Take a teacher. She is trained to handle many children and knows about how to teach them. Do you know something about how to handle the opposite sex? Have you studied about them? If not, please pick up some good guides and do that as soon as possible. Making yourself attractive is the first requirement. Once you can do that, you will manage to get anyone as your date. 5 Tips to Resexualize Yourself Sex is an important part of your life and your relationship. It's essential that you enjoy it. The conditioning on the body to be sexual and reproduce is the strongest on the planet. It is the second strongest instinct on the planet next to that of survival. However, sexual desire can change over time and can increase or decrease depending on life situations. Do you worry about what is normal or abnormal sexual activity? Do you wonder why or what causes the change in your sex drive? Understandably every person, and every couple, has a different level of desire and need for sexual intimacy. In response to outside forces such as stress and emotional experiences, sexual desires often change. Here are 5 tips to re-sexualize yourself and improve your sex life. 1. Your body is an energetic snapshots of your past love encounters. Have you noticed that when involved in certain intimate relationships, your self-esteem either rises or declines? This is largely because you energetically perceive the thoughts that the significant other has of you. These thoughts may be totally unrelated to who you really are, but you begin to resonate with that energy already in your energetic field. Energetic snapshots of other people's thought forms stuck in your space or body can block our energy flow in a particular part of your body or energy field. They create pockets of vulnerability and attract similar experiences. Other people's perceptions, thoughts and beliefs that stay in your body or energetic space and eventually create dis-ease. 2. Create room for increased sexual expression. Is there a stored up guilt within you about sex? Is sex an important part of your life? Does work or other activities overcrowd your schedule so that you don't have time to express loving sexuality? Send an intentional energetic message into your world that you plan to break this pattern. As you begin to release the energetic charge from past mistakes, healing and changes can occur. 3. You are born with sex appeal. Sexual energy is the life force energy within you. It is at the very core of your energy bodies and the way it operates. Since the whole universe is kept together by the energy of love, when that energy properly flows in your body, you are happy and healthy. Your whole body turns into a lighthouse, promoting good health and longevity. 4. Energetically release conflict, anger and negative feelings. Unresolved conflict or unexpressed anger can definitely put a damper on desire, as can negative feelings, secrets or emotional upset. As you carry around negative feelings about your partner, your level of attraction for that person can wane dramatically, sometimes never to return. 5. Releasing Foreign Energy Timeline Visualization These thoughts or negativity can be affecting you now and you can begin to release it by using a timeline visualization technique. 1. Imagine a timeline in front of you a timeline from birth to your current age. 2. Create a mark for every year of your life on the timeline. 3. Allow a dark spot to appear on the timeline for every negative experience or for other people's thoughts you collected and absorbed. 4. Create an absorbing rose or other symbol at the beginning of the timeline. 5. Slide this absorbing symbol along the timeline allowing it to pull out all the dark spots of memories, negative experiences and foreign energy from each year on the timeline. Let the symbol get bigger and bigger as it absorbs all the dark spots on the timeline. 6. When you have absorbed all the spots on the timeline and the symbol reaches the end, move the symbol out in front of you and let it explode like fireworks. Exploding the symbol is a way of de-energizing these experiences and taking the power out of them so they don't have power over you. You don't have to know what specific thoughts or energy to release them. 7. Imagine a golden sun above your head filled with your own vital energy. 8. Replenish your energy by bringing the golden sun into your body and space. 
energetically release conflict, anger and negative feelings to clear the path to renewed intimacy with yourself and your partner. Chapter 5 Female Orgasm During Sexual Intercourse One of the most common myths about the female orgasm is that women should only reach orgasm through vaginal intercourse. This is definitely not true but it's a myth that has caused us to take women's sexual needs for granted for a long time. This myth actually started with Sigmund Freud, the developer of psychoanalysis, who had recognized that women could easily reach orgasm through clitoral stimulation. Freud dismissed this type of stimulation as juvenile and believed it was important for women to become more sexually mature by focusing only on vaginal stimulation to reach orgasms. The problem is that the vagina was not designed for orgasms. It does not have the concentrated nerve endings that one finds in the clitoris or in the head of a penis, for example. As a result of Freud's determination, women who could not reach orgasm through vaginal intercourse were considered to have some type of psychological impairment. All sorts of methods were devised in an attempt to liberate women from their reliance on the clitoris for sexual pleasure. Only in recent decades has society begun talking openly about the women's right to enjoy sex and to reach orgasm in whatever manner worked for her. Another common myth about the female orgasm is that only women fake orgasms. Even though this book is about female orgasms, I think it's important for both men and women to realize that orgasms are not going to happen during every sexual encounter. About one-fifth of men admitted that they have faked an orgasm with a partner. Their reasons for faking are the same as women's, they don't want their partners to be disappointed. Orgasms don't always come easily in a partnership. Sure, when we masturbate we can probably get off every time because we know our bodies. And we know what works. Our sexual partners have to learn these things over time and, most importantly, with our help. Again, faking orgasms is not the answer for either sex. It just complicates the issue and prevents both partners from having a truly fulfilling sexual encounter. Chapter 6, Is Safe Sex Really Safe? Gone are the days when people could have multiple partners without the use of a condom, and other safe sex practices. Safe sex is all about keeping yourself, and your partner, protected from the complications of unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted disease. Although the concept of safe sex seems easy enough to understand, more and more people, young people in particular, seem to be missing the point, or missing the concept of how to accomplish safe sex. And just how safe and reliable is that condom when it comes right down to it? A condom can't promise 100% protection from AIDS or from pregnancy. For males in particular, another problem with practicing safe sex is remembering to take the time to a, have a condom ready, b, know how to use it properly, and c, take the time to put it on. It's important to educate young people today in the proper use of condoms so that they understand when and how to use them. There's no point to having a condom ready if neither partner is going to take time to enforce its use. In a very practical sense, however, although a condom is typically worn by the male partner during heterosexual intercourse and typically by both partners in a homosexual one, the responsibility for proper condom IQ is borne by both partners. Fortunately, there are more and more products appearing on the market to help people to plan for safe sex and to practice this method of responsible intercourse. Since both the birth control pill and the condom aren't 100% effective, combining the use of both of them together will increase your chances of staying safe. It's also vital to be aware of a partner's sexual history, and to seek medical clearance before engaging in a new relationship. This is especially important for those in polygamous relationships, more than one sexual partner at a time, because a chain of unsafe sex can start with any partner and spread rapidly through a previously healthy group. The only way that there are going to be less unwanted pregnancies, and less transmission of STDs is if all sexually active people, both young and old, are educated in the concepts of safe sex and what it means to them. In particular, in parts of the country where access to information is more challenging, such as some underprivileged areas, it's vital that communities step forward and provide this education. 
Young men, in particular, need to understand the implications and risks of unprotected sex and what it can mean to their lives when they have an unwanted pregnancy or find out that they have a STD. Safe sex starts with education and knowledge, neither of which any young teen can do without. Chapter 7 Kick Start Your Sex Life Today Has your sex life been a bit neglected lately? It's not like you don't care but well, it's just finding the time and energy. It seems impossible some days because there's work and cleaning and working out and grocery shopping and cooking dinner, laundry, kids, family commitments, friends, ironing. When you do get horizontal you pass out within minutes. Or you're not in the mood. Or you just can't be bothered. Soon enough a month has passed and you can't remember the last time you had sex. And when was the last time you kissed your partner and I mean really kissed them, not just a polite peck. Or maybe you've just fallen into a rut. You have sex in the same place at roughly the same time each week and do the same things. Routine is good for things like brushing your teeth but it shouldn't come into your sex life when variety and excitement are crucial elements in making it fulfilling. If this sounds like you and you want to kickstart your sex life back into well, life, then read on. 1. Be spontaneous. The element of surprise can be very seductive. Take a shower together, surprise your partner with a long passionate kiss when they are expecting to just graze lips, buy some new lingerie and wear it. 2. Get healthy. Eating well and regular exercise put you in better touch with your body and that inner healthy glow not only makes you look more attractive but gives you heaps of energy and makes you feel more vibrant and alive. 3. Be affectionate. If you haven't had sex for a while then it may be better to build up slowly to get back into the groove. Instead of trying to go from a standing start to racing speed, ease your way back into the physical by touching when you can and by being considerate with each other. Touch when you talk. Stop to kiss when you walk past each other in the hallway. Trail your finger along their shoulder as they sit reading a magazine. Snuggle on the couch in front of your favorite movie. 4. Be sensual. Give your partner a peppermint foot bath when they get home from a busy day. Massage their hands, scalp, back, wherever takes your fancy. If you don't know how to massage, don't think about it, just do what feels good. Or try a lighter touch by using a feather or silk scarves to trail along the length of your partner. 5. Be encouraging when your partner does something you like even if you've been together a long time your partner doesn't always know what you like and even if they do it doesn't hurt to tell them once in a while. Say what you like and why you like it, if they have more information you never know what they may come up with to please you. 6. Read your partner an erotic bedtime story. The mind is crucial in any attempt to resuscitate your sex life. It needs to be turned on first and the body will follow. There is some great erotic fiction around or you could try Nancy Friday for stories about other people's sexual fantasies. 7. Have fun. When was the last time you laughed together? Put on your favorite track and dance. Or buy the music that was popular when you first got together and play that for a trip down memory lane over dinner. Take a midnight dip. 8. Write a sexy letter. If you can't tell your partner what you really want them to do to you, then writing it down is a great alternative. It lets you be as specific as you like without feeling like your face is going to turn tomato red and gives your partner time to process what you've said and get into the mood. 9. Experiment. Learn a new technique together. Try a romantic weekend away. Or you could try a sex toy from one of the many on offer. If you always have sex lying down then try standing or sitting. If you're always on top then try switching things around. 10. Focus on the now. When you do get down to it, it is crucial that you focus on exactly what it is you are doing. To do this you must stop the chatter within your own head. Don't worry that you forgot to pick up the dry cleaning, or how you need to call your mother about her birthday, or the fact that you're out of cereal. Leave all that stuff to later. Much later. Chances are it won't seem nearly so important once you're done.